My name is John Storms, and today I am looking at my new CMB24D controller. And I made a video about this last year, but I'm gonna this year I'm focusing on more on how to set the uh, the channel ID since it's a little tricky. Now, just to give a, a quick rundown on this board. Your power inputs are here, so you have one set of power inputs, one set of power inputs. They each have their own fuse. There's another power input over here, which is also, these are all 12 volt. This is also 12 volt, but this is if you just want to power the board itself. These will also power the board, but they also power the lights. This one powers the board, does not power the lights that are hooked up on the sides here. Okay. Uh, your lights are hooked up along the sides. Get, try to get the cameras to focus. So you can see one, two, three, RGB. That would be one strobe or uh, one floodlight. That plus is the uh, is the power. So these are, if you look at the dongles that come off the 10 watt floods, there's four, but you could also hook up, you know, uh, you know, dumb strips and so on. And that's the case for each one of these. So there's 24 ports and it supports eight RGB channels, which each take, which each take three ports. Okay, uh, a couple of other little things. Again, trying to get the camera to focus. Okay, this here is JP4, and you could actually hook up a, uh, a toggle to, uh, to run this. So if you're doing that, this upper left pin is your 5 volt, right underneath it's 10 volt. Then this is input 3 on the top middle, which isn't used. Bottom middle is input 1, which is the only one you can use. Then there's input 2, which isn't used or it's not supported. And then this upper right one is ground. And so you could set up a toggle to, uh, to do a trigger. Okay. This bank of dip switches here is used to, uh, to set the channels. We'll come back to that. If you wanted to set the board up in DMX mode, then what you need to do is you need to change these jumpers. So basically, this side is the Light Rama network. This one is DMX. In order to switch it, you take all of these jumpers. You move them down one and over. So right now this bottom set of jumpers is unjumpered. You'd want to jumper this one and this one, and then all these move over, and then the top row would be unjumpered. So you basically take all these jumpers, go down one and over one, and then it's running in DMX mode. These two ports here are your Lightarama or DMX COM ports. And let's see, anything else interesting? Along the sides here, these are heat sinks. I said the fuses. Um, you can do a standalone uh, show with this. You can actually hook this up to the hardware utility, put it in the standalone mode, load up a sequence, and have it run. You can even have it uh, run other controllers, I've heard, though I haven't tried it yet. All right, so now let's get to the dip switches. All right, so a couple things on the dip switches. So they call them dip switches because you dip them back and forth, up or down. Okay, so when they're down, like it says right here, that means they're off. And when they're flipped up in this direction, they're on. Okay, now this dip switch 12 is special. So if you turn the board off, then take dip switch 12 and you flip it up like that. And then turn the board on it's going to reset okay and you'll see the red LED you know flashing and it will it will reset itself back to factory default I don't want to do that so I'm going to switch him back okay now if you are running your board in DMX mode then you're setting a value between 1 and 512 with these dip switches uh, you would use that to set a DMX channel between 1 and 512 and of course that would be represented in binary Alright, so this is the dip switch bank. It comes preset with a value of 1. Okay, this is ID 1. And the way it works is these dip switches control your Lightarama setting. Now, in Lightarama software, it's represented as hex. Okay, here it's represented as binary. It's all the same value. So in decimal, hex 12 is 18. So I need to represent 18, the value 18 here in binary. So I definitely don't want 1. This is 1. This one's worth 2, this one's worth 4, this one's worth 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. 
Now what we do is we just mix and match these until they add up to the value that we want. So I want 18. So I turn this one off because it's an even number, so I definitely don't want one. Two, I turn on because two it is an even number. And then this is four, eight, 16. Okay, so this would be one, zero, zero, one, zero. Okay, and you can check in the back of the book to make sure that's right, or you can also check and uh, the calculator comes. So this is double check. So 12 is off, that's the reset. A and B are always off. And then this one's worth two. This one would be worth four, eight, 16. So I have 16 and two one, two and 16 are 18, which is the same as hex 12. That's how I set my Lightorama ID. Now if you're doing DMX, you would use these dip switches on top to get it to add up to the value that you want. That's it.